All right, thanks for joining me in this new game. We have a chain on Camille. She's a clockwork and challenger. Let's see what items we get before we dive too deep. Also, like, augment's super important as well, as with every game in this set, I would imagine. But I guess, like, choose your own adventure. It's been pretty fun so far, at least. I wonder if there's, like, if you ever get, like, sick of certain things, but... All right, there's two Ezreals. We played Innovator before, so maybe we could try Scrap now. I haven't quite done that. There's a mercenary, so I'll grab that. What is Kastin? He's a mutant protector. I like starting out scrap in the beginning though, because I mean, you just make so such great use of your items. But let's see how the game plays out, because that's all that really matters. Always depends on what you roll. There's a mutant Arcanist. What's the mutant buff this game? You, have, you also have to always check that. Gives health and attack damage. Ugh. Not good for Malzahar. I wanted to do a Malzahar game too. Band United sounds awful in the early game. Item grab bag. Let's see what comp we are going today. Got a tank item. Okay. So let's find a comp that's good with like only one tank. That would be ideal to say the least. Giant Slayer in round 2-1. Not the best draw, in my opinion, but maybe Garen and Kassen can pull things off, because especially once people start targeting Garen, I need to pull my Kassen back so I get more value from the Gargoyle Stone Plate, because whenever you play this item, you always want to have, like, only one tank, uh, because then you get more value from it. But you, you don't have to, like, force everything around it, but it is ideal to do it that way. So we got Bruiser there, so we probably want to replace these tanks already, because I don't think there are any scrap protectors. Oh, there is Blitzcrank. Maybe we could do, like, scrap gaming. If we get a good augment in stage 3 for it, a good augment would be something like uh, getting more item components, that'd be good. Another one is the Cybernetic one. Cybernetic's probably amazing on scrap. Um, but apart from that, you probably... <laughs> don't want to play the synergy is what my guess is i'll just buy random stuff i, I don't know what i just bought there ah oh, no we could have had mercenaries seems a little late to do it now but yeah let, let's not do it and um, let's go for maybe flex are, are we flex gaming already what is she scholar syndicate next turn arcanist might be useful not really, because I don't care about Ziggs that much. Innovator. Maybe we could innovate some stuff. Uh, what am I going to do with this Reforger? I guess just save it for later. Are you liking the set better than the previous one? I mean, so far, yeah. Katarina's the only one. Wait, what does Katarina do? I forgot what I was talking about before. But this Graves... Oh, do they show when people's stats are reduced now and makes it like orange? Because when I right-clicked Graves, his stats were like orange or something like that. So we have a sword. I probably want more damage items then, because I have two tank items right now. But all the damage items are getting stolen right now, so uh, hopefully I can get this crit. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. And call it a day from there. All right, perfect. Uh, so with the sword and the crit, we want to put our units next to each other in case we get Zeke's or Banshee's Claw. Another Trundle. Ooh, Enchanter build would be interesting in a different game, different life. I guess I drop this on you for now. Yeah. This next guy going in is Blitz or Echo. We're on a win streak, so I'll level up. Uh, we don't really need any of Let's put in a Heimer for fun. He's probably the best unit, right? Because he's three costs. Theoretically, he has more value than the other ones. Don't know if it's actually true uh, until we learn more about the set and how things interact. But you know, for now, it is good enough. But I need to move my tanks around because Heimer is tanking this Camille, which is all the way on the top right. So I need to move my Trundle to the right a little bit in order to avoid my Heimer from tanking the melee unit. But you know, this game, we did not get punished. It actually worked out perfectly because we lived with like 6 HP. But other games, you can get punished. So you got to be a little careful. I don't really need another Ezreal, do I? He's probably chilling with the sword, from my opinion. I mean, we're winning this round, and oh, oh we lost. <sighs> Silly overtime. 
I want to do a scrap during stage three, and then we'll see what happens after that. We'll see what augments we get. No, it isn't. You have to fast level and hope you get jinx. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Katarina jumps to the back line. Yeah. That's only if she gets a kill, though. So if you put Frozen Heart on her... She won't jump unless she kills, right? I, uh, I guess she dump, jumps with her ability. She just doesn't get the reset. Ah, I don't know. I'll just go to 20 gold here, because we don't actually care about Ziggs. There's a Fiora. We could definitely use more Bruisers, too. There's two Vi's here. Oh, why do I have Heimerdinger in still? Whoops. Uh, Enforcer, Challenger. I mean, Fiora's good. I have items for her. If we want to do, like, let's play with a 4-cost carry right now, you might as well go for that. Maybe I could do a Academy Yone build or something like that. Another Reforger. Go sell the blue. Got a belt. Nice. Please give me Blitzcrank, then we could use all the scrap components. That'd be fun to do. Wait, why did I put the glove on Ziggs when you can't get more than one scrap item? We got bailed out there. So we got, we got four scrap now. Hopefully this does something. Hopefully this gives us the value we need. I, I doubt it, but you know, gotta try sometime. We have a Nico, so we need to use that during some point soon. Probably on 4 1, we do a roll down. Whenever you get an early Nico, the longer you have Nico on your bench, the worse it is, right? So you wanna set up a roll down as fast as possible. We could even do it on 3 2, but it's a little ambitious to get a 4 cost unit that way. I don't really like using it that, that early unless you. Are like wind streaking, which we are not, or if you are re rolling and need to roll on stage three, two. But I think we could chill for a little longer. What comp do you think is best for now? Uh, they patch this set like every single day, so it's impossible to know what the best comp is. You just kind of have to play and get a feel for it. Not the answer you want, but that's the answer you are going to get today. Uh, I mean, I'll level up now because. Maybe it helps me win to have this extra unit in. I don't really know. Uh, she gets the bruiser buff, which is 300 health. Seems better than nothing, you know? Oh, okay. So I was correct about their stats being reduced different color. Hmm. Does that mean when they're increased, are they a different color? No, they are not. I always get a lot of Ezreals when I play them. Okay, your team counts as having one more enforcer. All healing and shielding on your units are increased by 35%. We do have the scrap shield. Team counts as having... Alright, we'll just do this one. We just need Blitzcrank. And all our components are... What do you call it? It sounds fun, at least. Don't know if it's good. But it sounds fun. We take out Ziggs, but he's got the item on him. Oh. Oh, he's too big. Oh, I forgot he's a giant guy. Okay. Uh, I'll probably sell Ezreal. Alright, we'll sell 4 1 it. We didn't waste that much gold, so it's not the end of the world. Um, I don't like Ezreal. He falls off really fast. I would level to 6 and roll for Jinx. I mean, you can't hit Jinx on level 6, right? Or do you mean on 4 1? Yesterday I saw a 3 star Cho with Titans Resolve. He was so big on the board, it was hilarious. He won first 2. <laughs> yeah, he gets bigger after every fight, right? I need a mercenary, or not mercenary, I need a bruiser who's not a giant, so I need Zack or Bundo. Wait, how long are you CC'd for? You get disarmed or something like that? Is that what someone does? Right, what item do we want? We have two reforgers. I need the scrap unit, but none of these guys are a scrap, except for Echo. We don't need. Uh, I guess we get a tank item. Items. So the time I want, I guess we'll go damage. Maybe we need to start building Jinx's items, right? I, I'm assuming Bow's decent, but she kind of uses everything. Got Hodge. A little troll. It's probably not the best item to put on him. Maybe I should just be patient. Or should have been patient instead. Whatever. Because uh, I could have used that as like a Jinx item or something. Whatever. This is a Rageblade Warwick. 
Definitely need some CC again. Some Frozen Heart definitely did a lot of work there. Probably just wanted to keep it on Ziggs, but... Until you get Blitzcrank, it's a little rough. We just need two more till we get all components, so we'll have five extra items, essentially, or item components. Doesn't actually seem that great when you say it out loud, but... <laughs> better than nothing. We still need one more Bruiser, I guess. For, like, our mid-game. We have a couple of outs after this. Uh... Leona, what does she do again? She does her Solar Eclipse. See, seeing the Echo early was great. That means he doesn't do his attack speed debuff until his whole team's dead, in which case it essentially does nothing, right? Syndicate Heart, sweet Weak Spot. Ooh, I like Weak Spot a lot. I've been t I took that a couple times earlier. We could start building Hodge for Jinx items and then leave a bow for extra on her. We could also use a Bruiser. If I skip a bruiser, that means I am boosted. All right, so we'll just do this for now. Uh, who holds the items? I guess Fiora. If I was trying, I'd build a Zephyr, but it's PBE, so I don't want to do that. So we'll keep these two other items for our scrap dudes, so we can put it on them later. And then we also get an extra component here. Then after that, we have to make sure we have at least six components at all times, so uh, we don't get, like, greed. But maybe we get an extra one on this little thing over there, too. Uh, so I need Vi for Jinx later on for the sister buff. Kind of weird to play around with, not gonna lie. Yeah, we'll probably just reforge the Dragon Claw and the Bow on Blitzcrank once we hit Jinx and then swap the items to her. Because you want some items on your Jinx. You don't want to just go full, like, scrap mode where it's... You really can't do too much, but hopefully we hit her. We'll just pray on level 8, maybe at 5-1, because we're kind of stabilized right now, right? We're not too scared of that much. Because we have like 1, 2, 3, 2 stars. Okay, I'd prefer to have like 4 or 5, 2 stars at this point in the game. But we didn't roll much at all, so we could roll for 8, either at 4, 5, or 5-1. We'll have like 50 gold, 60 gold, or 70 gold if we wait till 5-1. So I'll do this in case I get a buff item. I should move Blitzcrank back because I have this item, Gargoyle Stone Plate. And I want to move him next to my backline guys so that they focus him. That'll definitely be a lot better than what I'm doing. For, uh, not really doing too much because I don't have buffs for her. Can't really be mad at her for that. Am I lacking in the damage department? Yeah, look, everyone's just doing like barely a little bit of damage. We're getting outscaled by some of these teams. What's up, Haluk? Okay, so... What item do we want? We have one, two, three, four, five components. So we just need any random component. Probably want a... Pink one, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure. There's a Jinx with a tear. No longer a Jinx with a tear. Uh, I guess I'll just get a glove. It's probably the most flexible, right? Oh, we'll just grab that. I, I don't know what do we actually want. Uh, what's the mutant buff this game? It is health and attack. So we could just pivot into Kaisa if anything. All right, let's do that. I haven't played a Kaisa game because the mutant buff is pretty good for her. We have a hand of justice already. We have like a giant slayer. All those have to be good, right? But she, I want a rage blade. But I could reforge into a Rage Blade. There's like a very high chance of that happening. Um, but alright, let's swap into a Fiora build. We'll sell these two. Keep Cho'Gath. Don't need this Ezreal anymore. Yeah, and if we hit Jinx, we'll play Jinx, you know. But if we don't, we have an out with Kai'Sa. I haven't played Kai'Sa yet. She looks really cool. Um, probably Rage Blade, Hodge, and... I feel like another Hodge. I don't really know. Gain a random completed item. Spelling champ. And that sounds pretty good for our team, right? It's exactly what we want. So we could put this on someone, sell them, get a rod, and we have the bow here. So we could just sell this zigs, put this new zigs in, the rage blade on Kaisa. And 
Since we're not going six scrap, we're probably only going three scrap with Jinx, or sorry, two scrap. Just build this Hodge on Kaisa. And then I could just use scrap as my front line now, instead of as my main dudes. I could probably play both Jinx and Kaisa if I manage to hit them. That's the real question. Uh, how do I fit in three mutant? The mutant buff is actually pretty good this uh, in this game for her. I actually don't. All of them are good on her. So you just always want to do it if you're running her. Uh, so Mundo, Alzahar, Kogma. Trogath. Trogath takes up two slots, but maybe that's fine because I don't need all this scrap stuff. I'm too slow to swap my team. All right, let's. Uh, I need. I should probably Nika my Kaisa and just go for Kaisa build. And just screw one of my augments because like two star Kaisa sounds pretty good enough for me. Especially since we have Rage Blade, double Hodge. Probably. No, Hodge is on Fiora. Whoops. Um, but we could sell people to rebuild items, so we could literally get perfect item Kaisa. Holy cow. It's Nico Kaisa. I'm, I'm just too slow on doing it. Ah, I have no items. Giant Slayer? Is it Giant Slayer? It's probably IE, but whatever. Then... probably still want a Stone Plate. And then Banshee's Claw. Nice, nice. Do I not need any more? Ziggs. Forgot to freaking go. Whoops. Okay. I still want Jinx, but is Zack a mutant? He's not. That's weird. Zack should be a mutant, right? It is what it is. <laughs> okay, so our team's not looking too terrible right now. Is Kogmon better than Cassidin? Probably not. Well, with the augments, maybe he is. I don't know. We're, we're just doing Kaisa carry, though. We're, we're just down and augment. It's whatever. Uh, <laughs> this salvage bin is really fun. It's big brain, but, like, it's really fun. Like, right now... Oh, wait. But we could, like, remake some of these items by grabbing one of these. It's, like... It's too big brain. Especially since we have two reforgers as well. We could, like, get perfect item everything if you play it right. But I'm... Uh, not big brain enough to do it, so it's what it is. Trojan would have been great. I'll just take it. I, I don't know, don't know what the other stuff builds. I'll probably just run three mutant. Five doesn't really do that much for me. So I could sell Malzahar, craft perfect items on Jinx, and get rid of Kastin, play another Bruise, or a Colossus or something. That sounds good to me. So we'll do that next round. Oh no, Kaisa, come on, man. Unfortunate. I would sell Cho'Gath and make Dragon Claw and Thornhill. Yeah, that might be possible too. I guess I'm not actually solo tank. It depends if I solo tank or not. I'll just do this for now. I'll, I'll, I'll remake her something. It's probably, like does Bloodthirster help drinks? Sell you. I really want Cho'Gath to start though. Come on, Kaisa, go off. Why are you not going off? You got stunned? I can't get stunned right now. We have a, ga <laughs> we have a game to play. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we'll just do that. Um, did I want to level up? No. So we'll just roll down for Cho'Gath too, I guess, and Zack. I should have done that this turn, but I ran out of time. So I will do it now. Actually, we could just level up, put in him. Over, nah. We should get two stars. There he is. Oh, he fires in- Okay, GA is just best in slot on, on Urgot. I didn't know he fired through that. Oh no, Cho'Gath got- Ah, I hate Zephyr abusers on PBE. Like, come on, man. Disarmed? Ooh, who disarmed us? Quinn did. I wonder if Quinn's targeting is random or what. Check. So, third item Jinx. What should it be? GS? I'm feeling GS is looking mighty fine. Late game, GS is always going to be useful. Alright, so everything got taken. Titan's Resolve or Shroud? Shroud's a little sweaty, so I'll go for Titan's Resolve. I don't want to, like, move around for Shroud, so... It is what it is. 
There's a TK. Eat. Get the gains in. All right. You got ability power. Awkward. All right, you're just getting Titans. <laughs> Who cares at this point? All right, let's level up. One shot in. Another TK. Ooh. Well, that is one way to do it. Do I want to remake my Fiora? Uh, could have done that before putting the Titans Resolve on Jinx. Oh, she actually uses it with the Runons. She probably does, uses it pretty well. And after her ult, she probably gets it charged all the way up. Yeah, she gets it super stacked quick. Huh. Interesting to know. Oh, Tom Kench ate the Urgot. You guys got a Galio too. Oh, no. I got to dodge the Lux. I'm too lazy to position it in PBE, guys. It's like, ideally, you want to dodge the Lux. I guess Kaisa jumps around. You have a Spell Shield. Where did Jinx go? Oh, she went all the way to the other side there. All right. I said Jinx duo carry. That's interesting because Hogmaw gives both traits and then Bai and Cho'Gath and Mundo complement each other a lot. So there's a lot of different synergies between them. Got health there. Eat up, baby. Uh, do I want to recraft any of these items? Not particularly. I mean, like, Trap to Claw, I'm building that. Chalice of Power can't be bad on both these guys, right? Because, like, they use AP really well. They both do. Especially Kai'Sa. And then, the last item is Hand of Justice. Like, what am I going to do with that? Like, I, I don't know. It's too much thinking. Too much thinking. We got BT. Let's roll down. Hopefully we get the her name. I don't know. We got Tom Kench three. Ogma gets it. All right, so he devours people, dealing magic damage. They die inside. He spits out a component they were holding. That's pretty funny. They have to die inside though. So you want like full AP Tom Kench as well. Did we lose? Oh, barely. Nice. Oh, that was the last one? Okay, okay. Oh, that was fun. Double Legendary Jinx Kaisa Duo Q. Two ADCs on your team. Insane. That could be the title of the video. All right, sweet. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And, of course, smash that like button. Each like is an LP I gain before the next video.